Remember cash? These days, when a wand-like wave of a phone or credit card gets you a cup of coffee or more, it's easy to forget what actual bills look like, and the abuse they receive in an average 5-year lifespan. Not for Allah Muhammad Araya. In a country so sanctioned that much of its own cash is out of reach, he sat cross-legged in a corner of Kabul's main foreign exchange market, sifting through a pile of what looked like paper trash but was actually a disaster area of distressed Afghanis, Afghanistan's currency. Out of every 10, oh oh oh. Another looked more scotch tape than Bill. A third wasn't much better, the victim of a bad cut and paste job that left its color scheme, and serial numbers, mismatched. That one even the central bank won't take, he said, shaking his head before putting it up to the sun for a closer look. A year after the Taliban careered into power, Afghanistan's economy remains in crisis. The slashing of international aid gouged 45% out of the country's GDP, and the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund expect economic output to contract by a further one-third by the end of 2022. Half of the country's 39 million people need humanitarian assistance, according to the United Nations. Making matters worse, wide-ranging Western sanctions and Washington's freeze of $7 billion in Afghan central bank assets deposited in the Federal Reserve Bank in New York mean that credit card and online payments are out. That has turned Afghanistan into a cash-only economy not only at a time when capital controls limit how much money you can withdraw from the bank but also when no new bills are entering into circulation to replace worn-out ones. In previous years, the Afghan Central Bank, known as the Afghanistan Bank, or DAB, would withdraw annually 3 billion to 4 billion Afghanis worth, about 33 million dollars to 45 million dollars, of decrepit banknotes and substitute them with new ones printed abroad. Afghanistan does not have its own mint. But the international sanctions on working with the Taliban have left foreign printers spooked, plunging the country into a liquidity crisis as Afghans contend with a currency that is, literally, falling apart. The condition of these bills, it's terrible, and it's getting worse by the day, said. People try to iron them, they play with serial numbers. We've told Dab, and we know they're trying to find solutions.